Wow. And now the Dream Team, well, it's down only one Dream Team member. One that's Chris One Dream Steel. Team member, that's it. That is it. Here comes Steele. Whoa, oh, into the corner. Big crossbar right across the face. Wow. He came out with a house on fire. Oh, clothesline brings him down. He's going for the pin. One, one two, two, no. Oh. Wow, you know what? The Dream Team is at a definite disadvantage now, obviously, because you know what? He's got no one to tag out to. Absolutely. Where the other guys have. So, look at the Samoans. They look like they're ready to get oh, back in. Look at this big backdrop by Jason. Going for the cover. One, two. No, count. only a two count. Samoans, they want back in the worst way, don't they? And I don't blame them. Whoa. And Chris Steele now. Whoa! Face plant! Oh boy, oh boy, that happened. One, two, three! Wow, so now, wait a second. You've got the only full tag team left is the Samoans, who are the champions. And now you got the Samoans. See how the Samoans were smart. They just stood out and let them battle it out. Yeah, definitely. You know what? Now they had the advantage of this whole match. You know, I questioned why they did that, but now I see. No. Now I hey, see. But look at this. This is why they did that. Half the, half the crown jewels. Got, look at this. Fala. Double, Double Samoan headbutt. Whoa. And now they're going to work on Chris Steele. Oh, wow. Big chops. Wow. Did you see? Did Whoa, no way. He's going to sit on him. Oh, oh goodness. no. Oh. That's where they let their, their weight and their girth work oh. for them. Look at Chris Steele say, did I just get hit with a garbage truck or what? <laughs> just sat on him, I think. Oh. But into the corner goes Makua. And wow, Chris oh. Steele follows in very nicely. Big shoulder right to the midsection. And no, Chris Steele tagging out to one half of the crown jewels. Well, they're working together. It's going to be the last man standing. It's going to be the winner. It's going to be the owner of the gold. And Brian is right next to us right now watching this. He's watching this match very intently. Oh, he sure is. I got to say right now, kudos to Brian for setting this up. Oh, I rake. Oh, That'll big, stop you in a big I hurry. rake. Chris still working on one half of the jewels. Right there, and one over and over and over again. Look at this. Off the rope he comes. Whoa! Going hit with a flying knee, boy. One, two. Oh, I thought he had him there, Tommy. So did I. But it doesn't matter because you know what? You have got both Samoans who are outside the, the ring getting. It doesn't matter. You know what? Whoever, ta whoever you know, hey, the Samoans hits here. Know, the Samoans know what they're doing. They're just standing there letting these guys work. They're both taking a breather. Oh. They're talking to each other, discussing what they should do Look next. Look at them. You can see it. Yep. Steel right now on the top rope. And down he comes, yeah! Oh! Wow, hit his mark very quickly. Hit it dead, dead center too, One, I might add. and two, and... No, no, Whoa. no! Well, whoever wins this pin, you know what? They've got two Samoans to go through. And whoever wins this pin is in a world of trouble. Yeah, so, I don't know if you well, want to... You never this. know, you never know. Oh, a lip lock! <laughs> and that's the nicest way I'm going to put that, Tommy. Ah. That was a lip lock. Look at Chris Steele spitting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame him. If it were me, I'd be getting some Lavoris right about Unbelievable. now. Unbelievable. <laughs> some bleach. Look. Something. S Samoa throws a clothesline, misses. Chris Steele comes you. back with his own type of punishment, hitting him close fist. I don't Off think the rope he comes. I don't think he oh, see a Samoa lock. catches him. Wow. Steel. Has he got him? One, two, three. That's it. So now it's both Samoans against the Crown Jewels. Yep. The Dream Team has been thoroughly eliminated. Wow. And Makua can't wait, it seems. Oh. Now they had the advantage. Yes. Now he doesn't want to get in. Now they the advantage. They came in with the gold, Tommy. They could very well leave with the gold at this point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't want to get back no. in. He's saying, no, keep him out. Two against one here. Yeah, and it's completely legal, right, Brian? This Absol is legal, right? Yeah, absolutely. The reason I ask is because you know what? This is in effect a handicap match now. Uh, well, not a, a handicap only if both of them are in the ring at the same time. Yep. Brian Webster saying though, as long this as is still one stays out of the ring, it's not a handicap match. Brian Webster, as we said before, this is for the title. Oh, look at this! He's trying to get him around the ring now. Look at this ring around the rosy almost. And oh, that didn't work for him. Oh, 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 oh! You got Fala right behind you. Oh boy! Ah, uh, this isn't gonna. This ain't. This. Oh, he's biting him. Uh, oh, 
And now, oh, they're oh, both taking, he's biting him too. They're both taking chunks out of him. Oh. oh, right into his partner, putting him in the ring. Wow. Here comes Fala. Oh, I don't think things are looking too good for the Crown Jewels right about now. Look at this Fala boy. He's unbelievable. Here comes Makua. Oh. No, no, you're not going no, nowhere. No, no. He's saying. <laughs> oh, you can't crawl out of that ring again. This has become a two a two on one match. Oh, oh. headbutt again. Down Big he Samoan goes. Big Samoan headbutts. He's Coconut gotta butts. be out cold. He's gotta be out. No, he's not. He's making his way up. Look, they're both waiting on him though. Both waiting on him. And what's gonna happen? He oh, oh. He ducked out of the way. He ducked his his own partner. <laughs> oh, I don't believe that Makua oh, is cool. outside the ring and he's not hurt. He's hurting. And one, two, three. The I think I the don't jewel, believe this. The jewels just kind of fell onto his own, onto his opponent. I don't believe this. And they, I don't know if I'm saying this. Brand new tag team champions, the Crown Jewels. Brand new tag team, the NWA on fire. They just, they just got in with the organization. I don't believe this, Tommy. They are champs. And. Boston bad boy. I don't think his partner can even even knows what happened. No, he doesn't know he won. He has no idea. He just got lucky on that one, boy. Well, lucky or not, you know what? They are. Th there it is. Th Brian, right? They're the champions, Brent. Brian is saying, oh. nodding his head. Brian is saying, look at them. The champions. Hey, congratulations to them because you know what? I thought that they had they, the odds were stacked against I them. I thought that the Samoans had it under control. I thought it was over. To be Shows honest, shows you how things can change here, doesn't it? You never know when a Boston world of Boston bad boys still wrestling. can't believe this. Well, kudos and congrats to the to the new NWA on fire tag team champions, the Crown Jewels. Crown Jewels, there they are. Fans, I hope you enjoyed this one as much as we did. Well, I tell you, Jason told me he was going to go after those belts, but I don't think he thought, and I never did think he'd get it so fast. With the jewels. Wow. Another bromance going on there. And WA on fire, fans. Don't go anywhere. two ago that it didn't matter who I rolled with that I was going to get the job done True. and now <laughs> I went into my bag of tricks I got my closest and dearest friend my darling Damon to stand here beside me here in NWA on fire and darling <laughs> let him know hello Mr. Webster take a good look at what we have this is nothing new to us you see we beat all the rest and now we came here to beat the best. And we are the NWA Tag Team Champions. We're on fire, baby. I got it going on. I don't mess around. I bring it straight from the mean streets of Provincetown. <laughs> and just like the rest, yeah, they're all fools. That's right. When they mess with the jewels. <laughs> on, Come on, we gotta live out again. That's the first time I've ever heard the words straight and Provincetown used in the same sentence.